Hey guys, what's up? So we're back again today. So I thought I'd give you guys just a little quick tutorial on how to remove the emblems on the back of your car or on the side, wherever the emblems may be. So on the screen here, I just have the tools I use and it's really simple. All I used was floss and an old car charger. Now my floss was really weak when I started to use it. So I ended up having to use a car charger, but most of the time, all this is gonna come off with just floss. You won't need the car charger, but it won't hurt to grab one just in case. So let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see here, we have the Lancer emblem. So basically what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start and we're gonna try and wedge this floss right in the corner of the L. So you see what I did there? So basically we're gonna wedge this in the corner and we're just gonna make just a saw-like motion. And that's just gonna go ahead and cut through all that old glue that's on the back of the emblem. So we're just gonna keep doing that throughout the entire emblem until we get it off. So I'm just gonna speed this up for you guys just a little bit so you don't have to watch the whole thing. All right, so as you guys could probably tell, the flaw started to weaken a lot. So I started on the other side as well. So at this point, this is where we just go ahead and grab the car charger, because it's a bigger, thicker cable. And we can just wedge that in there and it comes off 10 times easier than the floss did it. All right, so now that we got this one off, it's basically just rinse and repeat for both the other ones on the back. So I'll just take you through the videos on these two as well. So here guys, I'm sorry, my hand was in the way a little bit, so I tried to move my hand out the way. But you know, you can see it gets a little bit difficult sometimes and the car charger wire en ended up breaking eventually. So what I did was that each time I broke, I just moved on to a different piece. I had enough, I had enough length of wire to um, finish all of them. But yeah, you just want to keep at it. Just keep sawing at it. There are some parts that'll be more difficult than others, of course, just because the glue's been on there for so long. And yeah. All right, so the last emblem we have is the biggest one, the Mitsubishi logo. So what I ended up having to do for this one, you guys will see this soon while we're playing this, is the car charger was a bit too thick of a wire to stick in there immediately. So what I had to do was, I had to first try and saw off a little bit of the glue with the floss at first, and then I just tried to stick my fingernail in there and just keep the opening open just so I can stick the car charger in there. But then once I got the car charger in there, then it was fine it was really easy to solve. So that might just be something for you guys to take into account. Of course, you guys are gonna have different cars, different logos, so it might be different for you guys, but that's just what I did. And just like that, we are finished with it. Now in this video, you guys are gonna see some scratches around the um, emblem marks. That's not from doing this with the floss. That's from me trying to get off the glue with um, a razor blade. So don't worry about scratching up your car. This won't scratch up your car. Just try and clean up the glue with some solvent or a degreaser or something like that. Just let it soak in for a little bit and then try to wipe it off or just peel it off. Don't do what I did and get the razor blade because that's going to create scratch marks. But, you know, it doesn't matter because as you guys know from my other videos, we're painting the car anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for today. Short, quick video and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.